Hello, in this video I'm excited to say we're going to start our permissions system, our access control levels. Um, and it's going to get a little bit tricky and a little bit crazy, but um, just try to keep up. And if you have to watch the videos multiple times, um, that's fine. I'll try to do my best to explain what we're doing. So what I want to do is, first off, let's just kind of talk about how we want to control access. Um, we're going to do this through a, a JSON file. And I'm going to add that directly to our apps, our app folder here. So I'm just going to, um, yeah, let's, let's add it right here. So in the app, I'm going to create a new file. And I'm just going to call this acl.json, okay? And that will give us a JSON. Uh, so what we're going to do here is let's just open an object, a uh, JSON object, and close it. And the way that I want this to work is I'm going to create ACLs. So the first one's going to be look like this. It's going to be like guest, and then uh, inside of that, uh, we'll have uh, a denied. So we'll put a um, basically all denied uh, pages can can go in here uh, and then what we'll start doing after that is we will just have um, what what pages they have access to all right and we're going to do this by controller and actions so we're actually going to, going to limit uh, controller and actions uh, here in the ACL so let's just kind of build this out for our application so far. Um, I'm going to put home. And uh, the way that I want this to work is we're going to put an array of actions that they can see. But I, if we want them to have access to all the actions inside of the home controller, we're just going to put a star. OK? So this isn't going to work yet, obviously. I'm just going to kind of show how I want this to work. And then we'll make this work. So the register. Um, we want them to have access to login and let's see the login and register actions. So inside the register controller, guest. So these are people who are not logged in. Guest will have access to login and register only. Okay, and then. Um, we're going to go ahead and put restricted here. We want them to have access. Oh, we want them to have access to uh, yeah everything in restricted. So that's our guest ACL. Um, let's go ahead and just add a logged in ACL while we're here. So this will be uh, logged in. Okay, and we're logged in. We're gonna put our denied and uh, put our. For right now, I'm just gonna put a empty object there, and then uh, for register, we want them to have access to um, log out. The logout action, um, and we don't want them. Let's look at our controller. So we have home, register, and tools. Um, yeah, sure. We'll give them access to the tools, and we're going to give them access to everything in tools. So we'll just give it a star there. Um, and for denied. Uh, even though the guests have access to login register, what I want to do in deny is actually we'll put register here and then um, we're going to deny them access to login and uh, register. So if they're already if they're already logged in, uh, we don't want them to be able to see the login or register actions on the register page. But they will be able to see, because this is in the denied, this is not, they will be able to see the uh, logout. And then in tools, 
uh, they can see everything in tools. Now guest, you can see that they, they won't see tools at all. Okay, so everyone's out of the box will have all the permissions of guest. And then it'll be overridden by their actual thing. So we can have a, a logged in user. We can add many different ACLs here and we can um, actually, on top of people being logged in, they can have additional ACLs. Um, we may get into that. Uh, we're going to write the code so that'll work. Um, but that way you can control different. So you might have members like, uh, you know, gold members or platinum members or you know silver members or basic or whatever and they can have all different access controls as well so it's all going to be stored in this uh, acl.json string okay and to go along with that we might as well build um, let's just go ahead and build our menu uh, as well we're also going to build our menu with a json file okay so I'm going to add just inside of my app here another file and we're gonna call that menu underscore ACL dot JSON okay this one's gonna be real similar um, we'll open up the object and we're gonna do it's gonna look like this um, we want let me just build this and we'll explain it So the key of these is going to be the, the text that's displayed in the menu. And then when you click on it, uh, what happens? We can have drop downs or we can have a direct link. So for tools, what I'm going to do here is let me just open up the uh, tools controller. So we have first, second, third, and index. All right, so if they click on this tools, um, what is an index? Okay, we can just do it like this. We'll just say is going to be another drop down. So what we'll do is we'll just say something like, I don't know, my tools. And this is going to be just tools. And that will take us to the uh, index action. And then this one will be, we'll say like tool one. And this can take us to tools, uh, what was it, first? Yeah, first. So you, you kind of start to see how this is going to work. So tool two is going to take us to tools uh, second. We're just leave off the word action. We're just going to put this link like this. So it's going to be the controller slash action. Okay, just like you would put into the URL. And then I want to be, have the ability to add um, a separator. So the way we're going to do that is just that, like this. So then what we're going to do is add tool three. That will be tools slash third. Okay, so that will be, so we have two items in our um, menu so far. The home is just going to be a link, a direct link to the home page. Tools is going to be a drop down, and then we'll have uh, these three, and then a separator, and then a, another one. And this is just for an example. You guys obviously build this any way that you want, but follow this structure um, so that we can get this working together. I know it looks a little confusing to do this like this. But it's going to make a, the application super powerful and really easy to update later. Um, well, for now, let's let's not add this. I gave you kind of a view of what we're going to add later. Um, I also want to be able to do external links, um, kind of like this. So what we can do is um, we'll add just for fun. We, we're going to add Google, and then. HTTPS and then okay and then I'm going to add another one we'll call it PHP docs and we'll say HTTP PHP dot net forward slash manual 
English. Uh, and then the other thing we'll do is log in. And then we're going to put log out. And that will be register slash log out. So this is our menu structure. It's going to look like this. It's one, two, three, four, five, six main elements. The tools will be a drop down. We're going to add more to this later. But this is how I want to define my main menu. Okay. Okay, and we'll be able to build multiple menus in our app if we want to with this system that we're going to build. So let me see what time we have. Okay, um, I'm going to stop the video. Uh, and so we've just built these two ACL files out, and we'll continue on in the next video with, uh, with the actual code that will make this work.